Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. This is Andrea, uh, welcome to today's video. Today, um, I wanna talk about a sunscreen that I actually have used for years. Um, it's, it's for face, but it's also for the body, which I love because uh, rarely do you find a sunscreen that actually works for both. So if I'm in a pinch, I'll use this one for both. If not, I mostly use it for the body, but face does really wonders too. So this is from Make Prem. Um, it's called UV Defense Me Blu-ray Sun Fluid. This is the older version. It's the one that has um, the physical only. Uh, it's got the titanium, titanium dioxide and the... Um, uh, zinc oxide. Um, the new version that they have, um, they just brought a new version. I, I don't know when, but uh, it's it's kind of, I was going to say totally different um, in, in, in the fact that it's both chemicals and um, physical sunscreen in there. So it has um, titanium dioxide. It does not have the zinc uh, and it also has a chemical um, sunscreen in there. Um, now also the difference that um, there is, is that this one is 200 milliliters, which is 6.76 fluid ounces. And the new one has 150 milliliters, um, five point something of zero, 5.07 uh, fluid ounces, which they went down into, <laughs> into sizing, but they also kind of broke it down. I mean, why mess with the product if it was good in the first place? I don't get it. but. Uh, beats me. Anyways, let's talk about this one. You can still find it certain places, not all of them, but if you have it, um, cherish it. It's nice. Um, it's got a milky texture. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put it on my hand. Um, it's really liquidy, so I got to watch how I do it. Okay, ready? There we go. So it's really liquidy, as you can see. Um, it's spreads really nice and the reason it spreads so nice is because it's got uh, dimethicone in there. I mean look at it. It, it pretty much um, goes away. There's nothing left. There's no color. Uh, there's nothing that just even tells you that there's something there. This is just how it looks. It's very, it feels hydrating even though they claim that it's matte but I mean look at this. It's gone. It's nothing left as far as um, color or anything. It's very smooth, so smooth because of the dimethicone. But if you don't uh, agree with dimethicone, dimethicone usually can clog your pores uh, if you're acne prone. And some people are more susceptible to that. Some people are less. I know sometimes they're deemed bad. You do you, uh, choose whatever works for you, but it's in there. And there's like actually a lot of it. There's different variation of it. It actually has trimethicone too. So there, uh, but other than that, I mean, it's SPF 50, it's PA++++, so four pluses, which is the maximum protection that you get. I don't really go over 50 unless there's something that I want to try, but 50 is like my, my middle ground is like what I like to stay. I'll go down a little bit, like 30 something, um, but rarely, and then maybe 60, I don't know, if it's something like I really want to try. But 50 is the middle ground is where I want to stay. Um, it's really, really smoothing on the skin. Uh, it leaves you with a very soft um, skin. It, makeup goes on it really nice. This is the makeup that I put on. Um, I have powder foundation on this side. And then I got um the liquid on this side but i also set it up with powder i set up everything with powder because i have oily t-zone and it feels like i get more of a wear out of the makeup if i set it up with powder so i always set not just the t-zone but actually everything i set it up um back to the sunscreen it looks really nice it did not disturb anything um underneath or on top it didn't make it patchy um everything went in really really smooth um there's no peeling with it there's no um flaking and nothing like my dry spots from the lovely pimples that i have here you know they get like that there's nothing so it really wears nicely um you're supposed to reapply. They say every two hours. I say whenever you feel the need. 
every two to three to three hours if you if you need it if you're in the sun constantly reapply um if you don't wear uh, makeup just reapply it on top it goes really good if you wear makeup it's gonna disturb it it's not gonna look the same as as nice as it is it's not gonna be the same it's gonna take it off um use a powder or like a stick like a sunscreen stick to apply over your makeup um other than that i mean it's got such lovely ingredients in um it's got um i made some notes um whew. okay so chia seed extract for hydration vitamin e we know that's good uh centella asiatica for calming it's got panthenol which is um hydration for the skin it's got glycerin which is awesome uh raspberry fruit extract that actually has some um, spf in it too um metacosticide which is wound healing and um it's anti-inflammatory for like um acne prone skin it also has um hortunia cotata which is um it helps maintain skin moisture, um, a lot of silicones, like I said. Um, now, when you put it on, if you put it on your body and then you go to wash your hands, you'll see that the water beads on top of it. Um, they don't claim it's water resistant, but I can tell you that it's really holding good in the weather in the summer. So one of my friends, she keeps it in her car and she applies it on her hands when she drives because she has a long commute and so she uses it for that. So it's really convenient because it's a huge bottle. Um, even the, the new one, if you're okay with the chemical filters, um, it's still 150 milliliters, which is, it's a good size. I mean, it's gonna last you for a while. Um, I really like it. I, I like to use it on my arms and my legs, uh, on my feet, because my feet get so colored during the summer. It's, it's nothing else, it's crazy. So if I wear my flip flops around the house, around, around the house outside, um, I will get the shape of my, um, my wear in there. So it really helps with that. Now, it's up to you, you know. Um, I, this is, it ranges from 15 when it's on really good sale to 30 to $35. So it is more expensive, but you also get a big bottle. So if you're using it for both face and body, it'll go through it faster. But if you're only using it for your face, man, it's gonna last you forever. You know, face and neck, of course, make sure you get your neck, your chest, whatever is exposed to the sun. Ears, if you're exposed, hand, back of the hands, if you're exposed. Um, the, um, it's got a 12 month um, expiration date. So from when you opened it is what I'm talking about. Um, get in the habit of writing on the back or on the bottom of your bottle when you open things, um, whether it is SPF, whether it is whatever makeup that you are having or skincare, because we forget. I know I forget and then I, time passes and if you have more than one thing to use, um, they can be ineffective or get bad and then you can irritate your skin that way. Now sunscreen gets ineffective after a while so if you pass the 12 month or whatever 13 months whatever that you do um it, it becomes ineffective so you put it there but it's not gonna do anything for you so might as well not even put it on you know plus it can give you irritation and such so i suggest you write on the bottom of your your bottle uh, or on the side whatever it is that you can find a, a place to write and uh, use a marker that's like uh, i use the gray one it's really um shiny metallic that's the one uh it's really metallic and it holds up nice and it, it you can see it so um that's it for today now i forgot to tell you this like i said this is a physical spf um it has uh titanium dioxide and it's got zinc oxide the new formulation only has titanium dioxide as a physical spf um titanium dioxide is not very good at covering both uv um UV rays so uh, it's very good on I think it's UV B's yes it's very good on UV B's uh, but it kind of falls short on the UV A rays so it doesn't really cover as good as SPF as, as um, zinc oxide so that's a bummer that they took the zinc oxide out of it and they just kept the titanium dioxide I don't know their their uh, beliefs or why they did that but it's just what they did so uh, I don't know if you try the new one let me know how it uh, compares if you had the both of them 
how it compares to the old one. I heard that it's like more luminous and I read some reviews that it's more luminous, more shiny, and it's not as mattifying as this one is. Even though that this one is really not mattifying, um, it is, um, gives it still a sheen. It's not flat matte. Um, so I can imagine the other one being even shinier than that. I don't know if I would like that, especially for the summer. Anyways, um, this is it for the um, um, lovely uh, Make Prem. Um, they have other things too. They have a stick, they have a lotion, but to me, this one is very economical and it's, it's very well priced for the size that you get. So I really like it for that. Um, now, let me know if you've used it and if you like it. I'm gonna show you later like uh, a couple of years, um, <laughs> not years, that would be too much. Uh, a couple of hours, two to three hours in, how it actually looks and if it's like any shiny or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my face and I'll show you how it looks while I do it. And also, um, how it behaves. So I'm gonna, it, it looks like this. It's got a little nozzle, which I really like because it lets it dispense. It's very liquidy, as you can see. Um, can't really measure it right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna um, do it as I need. But it's really like a milky texture. Um, it's um, very smoothing so it's it's very um it feels very nice when you put it on uh and that's because of the silicones that it has in there uh all the other ingredients too but the silicones is what makes them uh feel luxurious and nice and um you know smooth and they they move easily and they leave this nice soft feeling now some people don't like silicones and uh, it is what it is. If you're one of these people that do not like silicones, don't use this. It, it has a lot of silicones in there and actually, uh, so it's uh, dimethicon, all kinds of uh, derivatives, but also trimethicon. So there, <laughs> um, but it really feels nice on the skin. Now, if you don't have problem with dimethicon clogging your pores or anything like that, then, um, then you're gonna like this. So as you can tell, it's really soft, really um, smooth. It, it just went in very nicely. Um, there's no white cast. Uh, there is no color. I mean, it comes on white, but it spreads so nicely, kind of like a, like a cream, or oh, actually less than, like a lotion there, because it's so liquidy. It's actually more liquidy than a lotion. Here we go. This is it. I'm gonna come in close so that you can actually see. And the rest on the hands. Don't waste it. It's good stuff. <laughs> Even though the bottle is so big, still I don't wanna waste it. So I'm gonna come in close so that you can actually see. I went in. Um, it does have a little bit of radiance, but not, not too much. That could just be also from my skincare. Um, nothing changes with my skincare pretty much until I finish something, then I move on, which I'm about to. But I'm gonna let this set in for like five to 10 minutes, probably 10 minutes, then five, and then I'll come back and we'll do makeup and then um, you'll actually see how it looks with the makeup. Actually, makeup looks really nice on top of it. It doesn't really mess with it, unless you have something that likes to peel underneath or that you put on top. But, I mean, it's good, right? I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been five, actually 10 minutes since I put the sunscreen on. This is how it looks. It really, um, it's not really um, dry. It's not dry, okay? Uh, it's a little sticky. I don't know if you can see that. Not too much though. It's a little sticky, but not too much. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel heavy. It actually feels very like lightweight, like I don't have really anything there. Um, so we're gonna just go ahead and put the makeup on and see how it looks with it afterwards. I'm gonna do my usual, I'm gonna do, I can show you, um, the Anatrail on this half 
side, my left side, and then the uh, um, Kosas on the right side. So we're gonna do that and see how that actually is gonna look at the end. Um, this is not my first time you're wearing this. I've been using this for a long, long time. So I kind of know what it looks like, but I'm gonna show you so you can actually know too. And uh, decide for yourself if, if this is something that you're interested in. Let's see how everything is looking with the um, sunscreen underneath. Like everything applied really nicely. There was no patchiness. Um, there was no flakiness, no rubbing, no nothing coming out. And the skin feels nice. It does not feel dry, nor does it feel um, sticky, nor does it feel uh, greasy. It looks really nice. And on the neck, because I have it on the neck as well. Usually I get like, I get, uh, I get it stuck in between the lines here. These are just my lines I was born with. So it, it always settles in there. And if it does, I just go like this and then it's gone, but it hasn't. So that's good. That's a good thing. Now I did set it up with, uh, whatever was left on my, um, setting powder brush that I used for my face. I just went around and did that. And that really does a huge difference um, when it comes to settling. Now, once the summer comes and it's gonna be really hot outside, it's not gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be a totally different um, scenario. But right now it's it's really good. I really like the way it looks. Uh, I'll let you know how it wears in a few hours. Hopefully I don't forget. Hey guys, it's been three hours since I put the sunscreen on and uh, makeup on top of after. This is how the sunscreen looks. I'm gonna get in close and personal. Um, this is the part with the um, powder foundation and then this is the par part with um, the liquid, which is set with powder as well. So um, there's really um, no change. It hasn't changed at all. Everything is still in its place. Everything is still the way it was when I put it on. Um, I had the contour and bronzer and blush and highlighter. So there was a lot of messing up with the skin, but it's still, it looks really nice. It hasn't really broken down. Um, if I were to go out now, I would not apply this because I have the makeup on. I would put a powder on. Um, uh, but, um, if you need to apply and you don't have makeup, definitely put it on on top. It feels still nice. It does not feel tight. It does not feel oily. It does not, it does not feel heavy, which is what I really like about this sunscreen. There's, these are so such light sunscreen that it does not feel like you have something on, that you have something that's um, charging up your skin and makes it feel, ugh, you know. It really feels like you really don't have nothing on, even with a makeup on. So anyways, this is the check-in. Um, if I remember, I'll come back later to show you, but I might blot or I might powder. So that might change too. So maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, it is seven o'clock. I've had this on for seven hours, for seven hours. Um, yep. This is how it, uh, were for the day. I think we're all actually really, really good. It's not really oily or anything. Um, I did not blot, and nor did I touch with any powder or anything. I come really close. Um, the nose, let's see. It broke down just a tiny bit on both sides. Funny enough, the one with the Kosas <laughs> looks more matte than the one with the powder foundation. That's uh, actually very surprising. And I set it up with... Um, Anna's Beauty. And then the eyes, um, this one wore off more than the Kosas, but this one looks like it's more, more coverage, but also more build up, I guess. I don't know the way it, it reacted throughout the day. Uh, I may look good on camera, I don't know, but I actually like the better like these because it looks more natural, even though the coverage is kind of run off and then of course i have <laughs> settling in the eye area you can see 
but that's just normal. Just a little rubbing, it's all it needs. But other than that, I mean, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I would probably blot. Probably go like this too. Just my hands if I don't have anything on hand. Just to kind of cut down on the shine. And absorb some oils. Maybe mix up something that kind of broke apart. And of course my forehead that's nice and shiny. But yeah, it wore up really, really nice, actually. I'm, I'm shocked that the powder foundation looked shinier than the regular, because usually this one is the one that's the shiniest. So I don't know, maybe the sunscreen did do something. Not too bad though, I mean, seven hours. I usually wear it longer though. I still am gonna um, be around and do stuff, but the lighting is not gonna be good for me to actually check in since I'm relying on the natural light, mostly. But anyways, guys, this was the check-in. Um, seven hours in, and this is how it looks. Actually, it doesn't look bad. I actually like it. It looks worn in, and it looks kind of melted in. Uh, if I were to go out, I probably would be blotting, for sure, and then maybe put some more blush on. Um, maybe use some powder foundation if needed, somewhere where it rubbed off, maybe around my nose. But yeah, I think it's actually really, really good. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.